guys, hope you're all doing well today. So today I want us to talk to you all about a new budgeting system that I came across recently. I was watching one of my favourite smaller YouTubers, she's called Neela Rose, and she did a video talking about cash clip system. I've never heard of it before, so I watched a video and I got some tips and tricks from her, and then I thought about how I could implement what she said into my life. Well, she's from America, and in England we get a lot of cash. Um, so when you pay for things with the notes, you end up with loads and loads of change. And I didn't want, like the cash clip system didn't seem to have any way of storing the change. And from things that I read, it was like they just collected the change together. And I felt like I would be ripping myself off if I did it that way. So I've come up with my own new and improved way um, that would work for me. And I've been using it for the last two weeks. So I thought I would share it with you all. And maybe I'll do an update in the future of, you know, how it's helped me to save. So, <laughs> first things first, um, I just want to say, I really want to save money for travelling obviously and it's really important for me that I save as much money as I possibly can in the next, I don't know, six months so that I can go away with as much money as possible. And when I came home it was really easy to spend a lot of money and I've never been one to, you know, get into debt or spend hideous amounts of money but I spend a lot of money on food and I don't realise I'm doing it until I look at my bank statements and I'm like, why? <laughs> So I think it's really important for me to put myself on a smaller budget so that I'm at least aware of my spending um, and it puts me a bit more in control as well. And you know it gives me like a goal to aim for, which is awesome. <laughs> so what I would end up doing was I would feel like I wanted to buy something nice, you know, like something quite expensive, say like the yoga mat that I've got. And then I would say to myself, well you can, you can get that yoga mat because you've got the money for it. So I would buy the yoga mat, but then the next week or so there would be something else, like maybe a new essential oil wanted, and I would think, well, you know, you've got the money so you can buy it. But then if that happens every single week, suddenly you've spent way too much in one category than the rest. So I figured out that I needed to have like a budget for each category of my life that I spend money on so that I'm limiting myself and appreciating the things that I'm buying more. Um, because like I said before, the things that I buy are good quality, so usually that means they're quite expensive. So if I buy them a lot, I can just burn through the money really fast, which is completely stupid. So yes, putting myself onto a smaller budget in those categories, especially food, because I don't know if any of you out there are like me, but I just go into the supermarket and think, oh, I could make this, oh, I could make that. Like I don't really eat out very often, but I always, I'm always making things and creating recipes and it starts to add up over time, so... I need to stop doing that. So the cash clip system is really amazing and it's, I think it's one of the best budgeting systems that there is out there for people that like to see cash. So I always said to myself I enjoyed using card more, which I kind of do, but using the card's far too easy. So if you only have, I don't know, 10 or 20 pounds a week to spend on um, shopping from like the supermarket and you go and you spend 22 pounds or 12 pounds and you just tap your card, and then you say to yourself, next week I'll spend £2 less, but then next week comes along, you completely forget and you spend £2 over again. Over two weeks you spent £4 more than you should have done, which doesn't sound a lot, but if you do that week in, week out, soon you're going to end up spending more in that category than you ever wanted to before. And that's been my biggest problem with a credit card, whereas if I had physical cash and I only had £10 to spend, then there's nothing else I can do because I need to make sure that my shopping comes under that. I hope that makes sense. Um, I think the thing that inspired me the most when I watched her video was when I was younger I used to get pocket money from my nana and so I used to get like five pounds a week from her because she's just lovely and I would save it, you know, I've always been a saver and I would just put it to one side, completely forget about it and then when I got to my teen years like she would give me it and I would think oh this is awesome and then I would go to town with my friends and I would think oh my gosh, oh my gosh I can spend my money and I would have like 20 pounds to spend because I'd saved it up and then it would be like, well now I've got nothing again, so then I would save up again. But the things that I bought, they meant something because I'd saved really hard to get that money. So, <laughs> I don't feel like I get the same feeling from a card, you know, like seeing the money in my bank account. It doesn't feel the same as actual physical cash, which is what inspired me to start this budgeting system. So, let me explain kind of what the system is and how to implement it into your life. So basically you're going to choose all the categories that you want to save money in 
or the categories that you spend money in. So for me, obviously, I don't have a family and I don't have a lot of massive monetary commitments. So it's not been as hard for me as it might be for some of you out there and I appreciate that completely. So if you are thinking about doing this system, then the best way to start is to sit down with yourself um, and get a piece of paper or whatever you prefer to write on or do it on the computer or whatever and sit down and find out Number one, what's your income? After all of the things have been deducted from it, what do you earn in a month or two weeks or whatever your pay is? Because if you earn monthly, then your budget's probably going to be for the month. If you only earn, uh, if you earn per week, then you'll probably do it per week. Um, so yes, find out your income and then find out your expenses. So I split this expenses category into two. The first one was necessary expenses. So for me, that's groceries, petrol and phone. Write down how much you spend on those per month or how much you want to spend on those per month. Um, and then you've got the unnecessary category, which for me is like clothing, which sounds ridiculous, but if I only put £5 a week into the clothing section, when there is something that I want to buy, I will be able to buy it guilt-free without feeling like I can't. So yeah, that's why clothing is there. Also for me, books. I love buying ebooks. And I love my Kindle, but sometimes I can be a bit excessive and I can buy too many books and it takes a big chunk out of my wage. So I've limited myself to one book per month. Um, and so yeah, that goes on there too. And then eating out, which I think could also be like experiences, like things that are exciting to do. Um, so yeah, pop that one down there too. And then number three is your savings. So how much do you want to save per month? So the best way to do this is to add up your necessary and unnecessary expenses, see how much they come to, then take that off your income to see how much you have left, and then see from there how much you want to save of that. As I've said in other videos, I don't pay rent um, and I don't have a mortgage, so that's a huge expense gone from me. So I'm able to save 75% of my income, which is a huge amount. And I got the idea from the book Early Retirement Extreme, and I recommend that book to anyone out there who is budgeting or trying to save money or trying to become a little bit more minimalist um, and less consumerist. I think I mentioned it in most of my videos. So yeah, definitely recommend that book. But yeah, um, if you can just deduct 75% from your wage, you'll be able to see how much you're left over with. And in an ideal world, the amount that you're left over with would be enough to pay for your other expenses, which it is for me. But if 75% is too much, then you decide a percentage that works for you. And then every month you put in away a percentage amount of your wage and you will just see that, you know, you will see it rising. And also the thing you can do is you can calculate how much you're going to save per month and you can see when you're going to hit your goal, which I think is awesome. <laughs> and yeah, so let me show you my cash system that I've got going. So like I said before, um, I liked the cash clip system that she did in the video but too many coins wasn't gonna work out for me and I would have felt like I was being hard done by. So <laughs> I crocheted myself this little wallet, which sounds really random, but I learned how to crochet recently and I just thought it would be a really nice project. It only took me about two days to do, um, as well as working. So if you do do, if you do do crochet, <laughs> then I recommend doing this yourself um, or you can buy wallets out there but as she said in her video it's not really worth spending a lot of money when you're trying to save money so I did spend some money I spent two pounds and I bought these nifty little um, purse things from my local craft shop and they're awesome and so yeah I got these because I thought that if I had I've got four different colors and I thought that if I had them color coordinated I could be like black is petrol red is food you know and then I could see the money in these and that was going to be better. And then also, like this month, I bought some food and then I've got some coins in there and it keeps everything together so I know exactly how much. Say, because when I went shopping I spent £9, I've then got some cash left which I can use for the rest of the week if I just want to nip to the shops and buy another broccoli or something. So that was important to me that it was all sealed in. Um, so yeah, I put them into here and that's pretty much it guys like it's really simple and really self-explanatory and yeah just you know I can leave the link below to the crochet video that I used um but it's really simple to make and super super convenient I do want to put a little button on here too 
uh, to keep it all together but I've had no problems and the best thing about it is if you don't want to spend money in those areas just don't take that envelope and if you don't want to take all of your money out like because I earn per month there's a bit of money in here and I don't really want to lose it because I know what I'm like you can just take out this one which is like food if you know you're going to go grocery shopping in the week or you know just pop that into your bag and then you've got it with you and it will also stop you from saving in other areas the only thing I will say is don't cheat yourself don't cheat <laughs> So yeah, they're the areas I spend money in and I know some people like to spend money online so for me I've left a little bit of money in my bank account for Amazon purchases because I am a big Amazon advocate. <laughs> I like to buy all of my nutritional supplements like nutritional yeast and you know all those lovely things on Amazon and so having the, the cash for those wouldn't work so I'd have to go to the bank to put them. Yeah, so. I have some things in there and I like to pay for my petrol and my bank card as well um, just to save the queues because the, the line for the card machine is so much faster. So I do have a little purse for petrol but the idea behind this is that I'm going to put my receipts into here and then I can see you know, that I've spent that money um, and it kind of keeps me in control of my petrol spending. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I will probably update you all in a few months as to how I'm going with it and if it's working out but so far so good I'm in love with it and I hope that if you are struggling to save at the moment this kind of inspired you to carry on on your journey because it's super difficult to save money and you know as soon as you start incorporating it into your lifestyle and you start making it part of your life it soon becomes so much easier and when you can put all that money away per month once your wage comes in it just feels like you know mission accomplished and just if you move money to like an ISA or savings account please don't move it out again unless you've got a real emergency because you'll be cheating yourself as well so yes thank you all so so much for watching I really really hope that you enjoyed this video and got something positive from it and yeah, if you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment below if you are saving and let me know what system works for you and let's get a discussion going because it's super interesting learning tips and tricks from other people and supporting each other. So thank you all so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Also, how do I always make these videos so long? I'm sorry guys.